Hello everyone and welcome to a guide on how to install Warband Script Extender to work with Sevenheart and any other mod that requires it. Now of course the first thing you're going to want to do is install Sevenheart itself. So you're going to go to the ModDB download page, there is a link in the description to it and uh, obviously you can find it on Google if you so desire. Anyway, otherwise we can go through to files here and obviously the latest version will be the one that we want to download and they even say don't download the previous ones so yes we can download 0.6b the full install that's the first one you want to download you put that in your standard modules folder in your mountain blade warband directory and then you download the patch after that and you extract the files here into the seven heart folder and overwrite all the files that you need to there and then you're fully updated with seven heart no problem at all there right yes so now the next thing you need to do is download warband script extender and there is a link on the mod db download page for seven heart but there's also a link in the video description of this guide and it will take you here this is exactly where you're going to go with that link and you're going to want to download it like so. You just want to go for direct download. It's going to give you a RAW archive and you can use WinRAW or you can use 7-zip or something like that to unzip it. And this is exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get all of these files right here and you're going to, well, as you can already see, I, d I already did that, highlighting them and you take them all the way into your warband directory which is exactly here as you can see i've got the uh, warband script extender source files and the windows xp variant and a bunch of other dll files and uh, the most important one the uh, warband script extender loader which is what we're going to use later on to be able to access the game itself now otherwise we do want a couple of other files these files to be exact. Now, the, these are also obviously accessible on the ModDB download page for 7Heart as well as in the description of this video. And you're going to be downloading these exactly the same way. You're going to go up here to download, direct download, and then you're going to get a raw archive once again, which is all the way over here. And again, you select these two and you click and drag them all the way over to your warband directory, or you can click extract two, either one and then you place them here. Now, the one thing that I've done is I've not overwritten my actual application from Steam, my actual Steam version of Warband. I've just renamed that to dot .back so that if I want to, I can very easily just delete these two files and then go back to the way that my Warband was previously. So you don't need to overwrite anything if you don't want to, you know, have seven heart as your only mod or anything like that and uh, yeah you should be able to go back very very easily just by doing that now otherwise you don't need to use either of these i found to actually launch the game you'd think that you'd actually have to use this one to launch the game but i didn't do that i actually use this down here the warband script extender loader and that will give you your standard mount a blade warband launcher where you can select all your different mods and everything and obviously if you load this up you're going to be selecting seven heart and then you're going to click play and then it will load up all the wonderful files and it will say on the main menu if you have successfully installed warband script extender so hopefully that has helped you out a little bit and uh, otherwise i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time